I was speaking in Atlanta two years ago and I had been asked to share our story and the next week I received an email from a woman named Tammy Wilson and she said, Carol, I, I heard you speak last week and I want to thank you for showing compassion to the families of the victims as well as telling your own story because there are always there's always so much pain on both sides and and she said my own mother was murdered 13 years ago and when I got home I looked your son up on the internet and I discovered that he is in the very same prison that the man who murdered my mother is in and his name is Matthew Ben Rodriguez and I have been praying for Matthew to come to faith in Christ for several years she said do you think your son would share the gospel with Matt and try to lead him to the Lord well, I'm not allowed to initiate phone calls to my son, so I printed that letter, put it in an envelope, and sent it to Jason. And a few days later, I was in the prison at visitation, and Jason came out, and I greeted him. And I said, Jason, do you know Matthew Rodriguez? He said, Mom, he's one of my best friends. He's in my <laughs> biblical counseling class. He's a dynamic believer. He said, we don't live in the same quad, so I couldn't speak with him immediately. But after counseling class, I said to him, hey, Matt, is your middle name Ben? He said, well, yes. How would you know that? He said, Matthew, Ben Rodriguez. He said, yes. He said, well, then, Matt, I have a letter for you. And Jason handed Matthew the letter from the daughter of the woman he had murdered 13 years earlier, saying that, he, that she was praying for him to come to faith in Christ. And Matthew began to, to sob. And Jason said, Mom, you'll see Matt today. He, he's coming to visit his uh, sister, who will be in the visitation area shortly. And a half hour later, out came his sister and out came Matthew and they embraced and then Matt came over to our table and he already had tears streaming down both cheeks and, and he got down on his knees and he grabbed my hands and he said, Mrs. Kent, thank you so much for sending that letter. He said, I had already written a five page letter to Tammy Wilson and her family asking for their forgiveness for taking the most precious person they knew. Tammy had a sister or brother who had not yet graduated from high school. It was a terrible loss to their family. But he said, I've had nowhere to send the letter. Every attempt I've made to find an address for this family fails. Will you ask her if she'll receive my letter? I said, I sure will, Matt. I got home and I emailed Tammy Wilson and that same night she sent a note back with her address. And since that time, multiple letters have gone back and forth between Tammy and Matt and, and Matt and the sister and Matt and Patrick, their brother. And there has been forgiveness and reconciliation and redemption that we can only explain by God's mathematics.